So for lips, if you want your lipstick or liquid lipstick to last longer, you want to line your lips. So you can overline slightly, which is what I do very minimally, just at my Cupid's bow here. And you can take any eye, um, lip liner, whether it's a retractable like so, or if it's a after like pencil that you sharpen. I I think I go more towards these because they're a little bit more convenient. Um, but the pencils have that um, like sharp tip, so that's always kind of nice for lining. So I'm just going in with this liner, starting at the bottom. You're gonna see. Your, where your lips end. Oh, let's try that again. Okay. So you're going to see where your lips go. And fill it in as well. Okay, so this is what my lips look like without slightly overlining. And now I'm going to just angle it a little differently in this area. Fill it in. You feel like you messed up a little bit, you can always just wipe it off. When they're creamy, pretty creamy, they're normally kind of easy to do. Okay. There we go. So now that our lips are aligned, we're going to go in with a liquid lipstick. I'm just using the one that I have on hand, which is uh, Candy K by Kylie. And you're just going to go right over it. And then a good trick so you don't have any on your teeth, like I do here. Take your finger and just, and you'll see some excess on my finger. But liquid lipsticks, I like and don't like. I like that they're long lasting. Zoom you out. And this is how your lips will look after the final um, application of your liquid lipstick or lipstick. So I like liquid lipsticks, but you got to be careful on some of the formulas because some are drier than others. Luckily with a creamy liner, that will help that. Um, but if, even if you exfoliate your lips before applying a more drier formula, that does the trick as well. Put a little bit of chapstick and dab most of it off. Um, Kylie Cosmetics, hers are a little drier. Some of my favorites are Smashbox, Stila, um, The Balm, uh, for Drugstore, Wet n Wild is actually pretty good, a little drying, but pretty good, and I've heard really good things about the Maybelline Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I think they're called, 
Um, I heard those are pretty comfortable on the lips as well. But it's going to be a preference to, to you. If you're going to go in with a, just a tube lipstick, you're going to have to reapply um, after you eat or anything like that because it is transfer. It does transfer. Um, where most liquid lipsticks, as long as they go down matte, they won't transfer. I wonder if mine's dry lip yet. Yeah. So, nothing comes on. Same. So it won't transfer. Um, last portion of my mini series. Today is all about setting powders, uh, setting sprays. And this is gonna be really a short video. So pretty much what a setting spray does is it's gonna help the, melt the powders into your skin more, but gonna help your makeup last longer, as long as it says like it's like a long lasting spray. Some sprays will even just give you like a, a luminous glow to your face. Um, there's matte ones. There's different types of setting sprays and different um, ways to like, um, different like sprays. So this one's a fine mist, but there are other ones that are like really shoot out. So you wanna like make sure you're really far out. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter is definitely a good one. Uh, drugstore option is the Milani um, Make It Last. I really like that one too. I just wish it came in a big bottle like this. I don't like how small that bottle is. Um, but simply all you're gonna do is after you've all your makeup applied is you're gonna just spray about, eh, be pretty far out. And then you can either use a powder puff or a beauty blender. And I just like to press it into my skin a little bit and kind of like roll it. Kind of get everything to sink into the skin. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If there's another how-to that I just didn't think of, let me know and I can try and help you guys out. Um, I will be doing a how-to cut crease, but I've already kind of um, talked about that in my Valentine's Day cut crease uh, tutorial. But if you want just a, I guess, dedica dedicated video to that, I can easily do that. Let me know down below. So I hope you guys liked this big series I did, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so I know you guys are liking uh, what I'm recording for you. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!